Okay, so her blood pressure looks like a little low, but it's fine. Um, can't really do a height and weight right now, because I mean, we just can't. Um, so we'll just skip that for today. Uh, looks like uh, Me has been using Depo and just here for another refill, is that right? I, I don't know, I'm just her ride. Actually, um, my name's May, it's M-E-I. Okay. Um, and you can weigh me actually, but whatever for today, that's fine. Okay, well, she'll be in in just a bit. Dr. Ernst will be in to see you, um, so she'll talk to you about that, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Do you need so me to I'm move? Just gonna, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. It's no, okay. No, no, I, um, I, I can. No, no, it's okay. I, I'm on it. Okay. No problem. All right, All right so. Okay. All right. Oh, she's here. She's here. Hi. Hi. Um, you know, these rooms are so oh. small with a wheelchair in oh, them. Let me I just. Can, I, can, I can. Oh, no, I got it. It's oh. no big deal. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. Ernst. It's so Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, you must be me. It's so uh, nice to meet you. Um, How are you doing today? I, I'm, I'm good. Good. Um, I'm so glad to meet you. Okay. So, I'm really, so why I'm are really, you here today? No, I'm really here because so I've been on the depot shot for so many years, and I was the depot shot works great. I have a lot of patients with disabilities. Have it has it stopped your periods? Yes, but I was reading. So I always find like with the patients with disabilities that it. Um, helps them stay cleaner down there because they don't have a period once but, a month. So, well, okay. And the other thing True, is for women with disabilities, well, it stops the seizures. So I think it's a good idea for you to stay on that. Um, I don't have seizures. Okay. But, but also, like, isn't it bad for your bones? Because you know, I'm 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 not active anymore, so I worry about my bones, and well, so... Well, I'm not too worried about that. I think it's oh. a good idea to just stay on it to help control your periods. So, oh. is there anything else you needed today, well, or do you want me to just put in a refill um, for that? One more thing, one more thing before okay. you go. Um, so, a pap smear. I'm, like, super nervous about it, but I think that it's well, time. I don't I'm, like, think 30. you need to be nervous, because I really don't think you, you need it. But, I mean... I am sexually active. Oh, I, you are? It's kind of weird to have her here Can to... You know what, it's better if you stay. I might have some questions for you or you might need to help us move her later. So I, I would prefer if you just stay for now. Just just put your earphones on, please. Okay. But, but shouldn't I have it done at some point? Like, cause I don't, I really you don't know, need cancer. I've got a lot of stuff Maybe at some point, on. but it's, it's really complicated. We could call a lift team to try to get you on the oh, table. Oh, you know what, Minchie's great with helping me. Like I'm pretty strong up here. She can, she and can help me move to the is, table. You know, women who have a spinal cord injury can get this problem, autonomic dysreflexia, and it makes the pelvic exam kind of dangerous. So I'm not sure we need oh. to do that here today. It was so nice to okay. meet you today, and I'll see you again maybe in a year or two, okay? okay? Nice right. to meet you. Thanks. Um, so we got your height and weight outside of the room. Just gonna plug that into your chart real quick. Love the scale out there. It's a yeah. lot. It's really easy to roll on and off. So I'm great. Glad you yeah. Um, and then according to your chart here, it looks like you want to talk to Dr. Ernst about whether you're due for a Pap smear. Well, do I know I'm overdue and I've never had one, so I'm kind of pretty nervous about it today. Uh, so if you just let her know, I've never had one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And we'll do our best to make you comfortable okay, while we're here. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you? That's it. All right. So Dr. Ernst will be in in just a little bit. I'll go bring this to okay, her. Thank you. We'll get you set up. Thanks a lot. Hey. Hi there. Hi. I'm Dr. Ernst. It's really nice to meet, to meet you. you. You're Miss Wu? You can call me May. Perfect. Um, yeah, I mean, my main concern is I've been on Dapa Provera for about 10 years now, and mm -hmm. I've been reading it's it's not good for your bones. That's really the first thing I want to ask you about. I love not having my periods, but God, is this good for me? Yeah, I understand your concern. Yeah. There is some data that shows that Depo Provera over the long term can decrease your bone density. And for women who have another risk factor yeah. for low bone density, someone who um, is non-weight bearing, I actually agree with you. I think that there are better options for you for contraception. Before yeah. I um, tell you what else I'm thinking about for contraception, yeah. can you just tell me if you're thinking about getting pregnant and what, what's your timeline for that? <laughs> You're the first person who's ever asked me that, and I can tell you, yeah, when I was a kid, I dreamed of being a mom, but... Um, and so I, I would say just because you have a spinal cord injury doesn't mean that you can't get pregnant. I totally understand yeah. that. So the thing that I was thinking might be a good option for you is long-term contraception, like an IUD. But I just didn't think you could 
do that for me. I just, I've never heard of someone with a spinal cord sure. injury having an IUD. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've done it before. It's possible. And oftentimes we can do that right here in the office. Okay. I think what we'll do today is I'm gonna give you some written information about the okay. IUD. And today we'll try to do a pelvic exam, we'll do a pap smear, we'll do some screening for some um, infections, okay. and we'll see how you tolerate that. Okay. And then if you do okay, we can try to put the IUD in here in the office. That'd be great. Yeah. I wanted to ask you before we do the pelvic exam, um, if you need help or assistance transferring onto well, the table. I think I can do it with just a, a, just a little minimal assist from the medical assistant. I have pretty strong upper arms or my sister can come. Help me. Perfect, yeah, yeah that sounds her. great. Since Minji is used to it, we can grab her okay. and ha have her help. So before um, we do the pelvic okay. exam, I'm gonna have you empty your bladder. I will um, go get Minji and she can help you move over and transfer onto the table. Okay, and then.